Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, so part two of my Mercari What Sold, and this is my 10th video tonight, so I'm just trying on hats at this point, and I wasn't sure how to how to wear it, so I, I decided I'd fold that up and then keep it kind of like, so you could still see my eyes. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's almost 1 a.m. 1 a.m., video 10. Um, like I said in my la part one, I put off uh, doing videos for a while and I'm so behind on my what sold. So I'm like having a marathon here. Um, yeah. How are you guys? How is everyone? Uh, this is a Mercari what sold. I sold $2,600 on Mercari this month. That is not profits. You know, I have to take out like my fees. I have to take out what I paid for the items, all that jazz. But normally I sell about 500 to a thousand on Mercari. So I don't know what happened in April. I think it's kind of the things I was selling. And if you watch part one, definitely go watch part one because there's certain items that have sold really well for me. So if you have those items, definitely get them listed on Mercari because these items are selling faster on Mercari than they are on eBay because everything, mm, take that back. The jewelry, the bulk jewelry is only on Mercari. And I did sell a lot of that. So let's dig in. All right. This hat is like from, I think, high school. <laughs> I, I pulled out a bag of hats from a long, long time ago. And I pulled them out some time ago, but they've been stuck up in a cabinet. And I'm like, I need hats because my hair. Whew. Yeah, I need I need my I need to see my hairdresser. <laughs> and that's not happening right now. So it is April 30th. This video will probably post in May or June, who knows? But uh, yeah, it's April 30th. So we're about a month and a half at the stay at home order here in Ohio. So yeah, yeah, it is what it is, you know? All right, let's get started. Um, and I just hit 5,000 subscribers. Whoop, whoop. So I don't know what I'm at now because now is probably a month later. So thanks for being here. And let's check out these Mercari Bolos. So do I have it on screen share? Yes, I do. All right. So Vitality bracelets. I purchased these. These were a part of my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay and it ended up being 344 pounds of jewelry. If you want to hear about how that all transpired and how I got that deal, you can go over to my playlist. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay and there is a video where I weigh the items so you can get the whole backstory of how that worked out. It was a really fantastic find. So these bracelets, bracelets, uh, Vitality, I don't know the brand, but uh, it was eight of them. They sold for $16 with free shipping. The next item are these Connects 38 black connector clips. And basically what I did is I took a Screamin' Serpent Connect set and I parted it out. I kind of wanted to see how it would, how I could do with that. And it ended up it's been really good. Um, I'm definitely making more money that way, but it does take longer. Most of my items have sold on eBay, but this one sold on Mercari. $15 with free shipping. The next item is this crazy little monkey. It's a gibbon monkey. It's like this big. It's teeny tiny. Like teeny tiny. Uh, an inch and a half. And I looked it up and I was really surprised at what these were selling for. So I was like, well, I'm just going to list it. It's a bread and butter item, but 12 bucks with free shipping. I made like eight or nine bucks on this monkey and it came in a lot of items. So I pretty much got it free. Shopkins buildable display buildings. Again, it was a bulk purchase at a garage sale, a ton of toys. And I sold this for $20 with free shipping. So you build it and then the little Shopkins sit in the windows. This came from a garage sale. I paid like a dollar for it. It's a Nickelodeon Avatar drawing kit from 2007. And yeah, I sold this for $36 with free shipping. Pretty awesome. And there's the front of it. The next item is the Simpsons car. It came from my Simpsons haul from the thrift store. I have a video on that haul if you guys want to go check out everything I got. I sold this for $26 with free shipping. And it's a model kit, like somebody bought it and put it together. And yeah, pretty cool. It is vintage, I think. 
This little kittle doll, I sold her for $22 with free shipping. And this came from a thrift store buy. It was a big lot of toys. And so I have probably less than a dollar in her. Here's the other one, little kittle. And this one sold for $20, or I'm sorry, $21 with free shipping. This is one of my Goodwill Bins buys. And if you guys go check out my I Got It at the Bins Thrift With Me videos, you will see when I picked this item up. It is a Sodor Signal House Thomas the Train. I have sold um, the Sodor items before. They do really well. Um, I knew this was a Bolo. And it sold for $28 with free shipping. And Goodwill Bins is by weight. The next item is this brawl. It was a, uh, I picked it up at a discount store. I paid $6.35 for it. The inner tag is marked through. They do that so that you cannot return the items to the store. And this one was new without tags and it sold for $22 with free shipping. These little earrings came from my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay and I sold these for $28 free shipping. So I had pennies in this. Here's another one of my crafters lots. Okay. So this one came from, I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay, but it was not my 344 pound bulk buy. This was another one that I bought on eBay and I, I still made money, but um, it was like an auction and I bought a couple things from the same seller it was okay. You know, I pulled out a few things, but overall it was mostly crafter items, but I sold three and a half pounds for $35 and I did free shipping on that. So lots of clip on earrings, vintage items, but, um, people make crafts out of these. So the next item is another jewelry lot. This one was 11 pounds and it sold for $99 with free shipping. And you know, Poshmark takes 10%. And I sold three lots to the same person within like a month. So she bought a, a bag. She um, opened it up, went through it, came back and bought another bag, opened it up, went through it, and then bought another bag. So this was over like a, the course of a month. I want to say I have about four or five bags left, but they are 16 pound bags. And so they're a little more. Um, and those, I'm not sure if they're going to fit in a medium flat rate or if I'm going to have to use a large flat rate, but I do have more listed. So the next item was this one. It was nine pounds. I sold it for $81 with free shipping. This one was 12 pounds. I sold it for $102 with free shipping. This is a crafter's lot. So it's seven pounds um, and I sold it for $64 with free shipping. So every item in here is either broken or completely tangled to the point where I did not want to untangle it anymore. These were um, watch parts and movements. I had two separate lots listed and they asked me to combine the items and they would give me $100. And um, actually somebody else that asked me to bundle it and then somebody else bought it. <laughs> So this was given to me by my husband. He didn't want to mess with it. And I said, I will list it. So I made $100 and I offered free shipping on that. So that was, that was a score for me. I have nothing in it. And he bought out a watchmaker's estate. So this is a vintage Disney set. I picked this up at an estate sale. It was in a drawer. If you guys are not checking the estate sale drawers, definitely check the estate sale stores drawers. I have done really well finding the hidden treasures. This one's, I, I want to say I paid maybe $7 for this. I did pay a little more and it sold for $51 with free shipping. This Disney store exclusive Rue plush, um, I sold for a little less because the tag right here was cut off, but it did have the Disney store patch on the bottom. I picked this up. I want to say at the goodwill for like a buck. And I sold it for 15 with free shipping. This ideal toys doll. This is, um, it was in a bulk buy of Barbies actually. So I have less than a dollar in it and it sold for $19 free shipping. 
this Bratz doll, um, I sold for $12 free shipping and she has, you know, she's only got the skirt on and her hair is kind of messy. This I picked up at a thrift store. I think it was $2 and 50 cents. It's vintage grapes, hand blown glass. It's hollow. It's beautiful. It sold for $25 with free shipping. This fire and rescue book. It's a leap reader. It sold for $12 free shipping. This is another Goodwill bins fine. And you see me smiling because I just think it's so cool because I'm kind of new to the Goodwill bins, but I picked this up. It was kind of heavy. So I probably, let's just say I paid five for it. I probably didn't pay that much, but let's just go high. So Goodwill bins around five bucks and I sold it for $30 free shipping. And yeah, I think, yeah, that went media mail. These night golf pants. Nike, sorry, I always say Nike, I'm working on it. Nike golf pants, I bought at a garage sale for a couple bucks and I sold them for $40 and free shipping. This Faith bracelet came from my bulk buy, 344 pounds. I sold this for $12 with free shipping. This bra I picked up at a discount store for $6.35 and it sold for $23 free shipping. This is another bra from that same discount store. I sold this for uh, $25 free shipping and I paid $5 and around 35 cents, whatever $5 plus taxes. This Little Mermaid Diamond Edition Blu-ray I picked up at a garage sale for like a buck and it sold for $25 free shipping. Okay, this Mary Kay case. I have another one and I just want these things out of my house. Um, so this was listed on eBay for a long time and I think it was on Poshmark also, but I didn't cross post it until I don't think it was on Mercari as long and it sold for $45 free shipping. Now this is a bigger item, so I can't remember what it cost me to ship, but it was kind of expensive, maybe 20. So I still made money. I picked it up for a buck at a garage sale. So still good money. And, uh, Happy it's gone. This was a retail arbitrage item I picked up at the bargain hunt. And I, it was $3 and I sold it for $23. And the buyer paid the shipping on this one. Lala, Lala Lopsy, Lala Lopsy. I don't know how to say it, but these are little miniature dolls. And it comes with the two little play sets. This came from a garage sale. It was a bulk purchase. I basically, they had a whole tarp of toys and I bought them all. I sold this for $48 with free shipping. Harry Potter, Xbox games, garage sale, probably paid a buck for both of them. Had it forever. I posted it on 1117. So I've had it a long time. And again, people are buying things like this right now, given the circumstances. So I sold it for $14 with free shipping. The Earth Kingdom um, Chronicles Avatar book. I sold these for $24 with free shipping. These Avatar items seem to do really well. So I'm definitely going to be on the lookout for those. Here's some Shopkins Happy Place dolls. These are like, I don't know, like this big. And these sold for $48 with free shipping. And these were a part of the same sale that I got the... Where are they? Ah. I didn't think it was that far back. Did I skip it? The Lollapalooza. Hmm. I don't know where it went. You guys know what I'm talking about though, right? There, those. Same sale. So I got them really cheap. $48 free shipping on those. Triplet Trouble Books. I think I paid 10 cents each at a garage sale for these. So I'm all in at 50 cents. Sold it for 10 free shipping. Shipped a media mail. I like to sell books on Mercari. Here's some more, same sale, 10 cents each. So all in 60 cents, sold it for 12 with free shipping. Bread and butter, guys, bread and butter, super easy to list. This little Fisher Price Loving Family Dollhouse Skateboard set, I sold this for $11 free shipping. Uh, I buy this stuff in bulk, so I get it for like pennies. Another uh, Vintage Magic Castle Reader's Children's Books, sold for $10 free shipping. These were 10 cents each. I think these were the 10. Nope, this was a different sale. This was a box full that I bought for like five bucks and there were a ton of books. So I probably have less than a buck in this. I sold it for $12 with free shipping. 
and this cleaver made inflatable air chair i sold this for 32 dollars with free shipping i picked it up at a garage sale for five dollars this martha stort paper punch spider web stamp it's like a paper punch stamp thing it is a spider web it's super cool and I picked these up at garage sales. The Martha Stewart ones do really well. Some of them can be a big bolo. Um, this one sold for $15 with free shipping. So a bread and butter item, but still, I probably had 50 cents, maybe a buck in it. I can't remember. This little Cabbage Patch doll came from a garage sale. I think I paid like 50 cents or something for her. Sold her for $17 with free shipping. And that concludes my what sold on Mercari. So tell me what you guys think. Um, Mercari's pretty cool, right? Uh, I feel like the last couple of days it's been kind of slow and I, like I had this momentum going and I was super, super excited and I'm really hoping that it picks up again. But I think a lot of it had to do with like that leap pad stuff and my jewelry. And, you know, I had a lot of other miscellaneous items also, but those were like I did really good with that stuff and I still have lots of jewelry left. So we'll see how it goes. Um, thanks for watching. I've got Poshmark Bolo videos. I have eBay Bolo videos. I have category Bolo videos, um, featured seller videos. If you want to be featured, message me in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group and I'd be happy to take a look at your store. And if we can work something out, that would be awesome. Um, I do it free. It's There's no charge for it. So it, when I, I guess I should tell people that. I wonder if people think I charge them. Um, so it is completely free to be featured. Basically, I look at your store and then I share your bolos and it helps everybody learn and it gets you exposure for your store. So anyway, thanks for watching and be sure to check out the description of the video. I've got links down there to my stores. If you guys want to make me an offer on something, I'm happy to look at offers. Be sure to tell me, ah, be sure to tell me you're a subscriber of the channel. And if you want me to shout out that you bought something, I'm happy to do that. If you just want me to say a subscriber, I'm fine with that. Also, um, I love getting, I love it when people buy from me that are my subscribers. It's super fun. It's like the highlight of my day. I'm like, woohoo. I call my husband. I'm like, I sold something to a subscriber. He probably thinks I'm nuts, but it's exciting, you know? All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Have a great night. And if you made it to the end of the video, comment, I made it to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. And then what about this hat? Should I fold it up? <laughs> All right, you guys. It's 1 a.m. I'm going to bed. Have a good night.